Amanda Bynes. American former actress. Born. April 3, 1986, Thousand Oaks, California, USA. Birth name. Amanda Laura Bynes. Nickname. Chicky. Height. 5 foot 8, 1.73 m. Amanda Bynes, born April 3, 1986, in Thousand Oaks, California, is an American actress who first gained fame as a child star. She began her career at a young age, appearing in commercials and making guest appearances on television shows. Her breakthrough came in the late 1990s with a recurring role on the Nickelodeon sketch comedy show All That, which led to her own successful spin-off, The Amanda Show. Bynes's talent and charisma quickly transitioned her from television to film. In the early 2000s, she starred in several successful movies, including What a Girl Wants, 2003, and She's the Man, 2006, showcasing her comedic prowess and earning a dedicated fanbase. Despite her success, Bynes's personal life began to overshadow her career. In the early 2010s, she faced a series of legal issues, including multiple arrests related to driving under the influence and hit-and-run charges. Her behavior became increasingly erratic, leading to a public and highly scrutinized struggle with mental health issues. In 2014, she was placed under a conservatorship, and her career took a significant downturn as she focused on her recovery. Over the years, Bynes has attempted to make a comeback including a brief return to social media and public appearances. Her journey has been marked by a complex interplay of personal challenges and efforts to rebuild her life. As of recent updates, she continues to work on her mental health and recovery, navigating her way through a more private life away from the spotlight. Amanda Laura Bynes was born on April 3, 1986, in Thousand Oaks, California, the youngest of three children of Lynn, Morgan, a dental assistant, and Richard Bynes, a dentist. Her father is of Lithuanian, Irish, and Polish descent, and her mother is from an Ashkenazi Jewish family, from Toronto. Amanda became interested in acting and performing from the age of three, when she would say her older sister Jillian's lines with her while she performed in plays. It was from then on that her family and friends knew that she would be a star someday. Her acting debut was in 1996, when she auditioned for and got the role as a newcomer on All That, 1994. Right away, she became very popular as people enjoyed her acting in skits, especially Ask Ashley, where she played a little girl running an advice column who would get very angry every time she read a letter. In 1999, 13-year-old Amanda was given her own variety show, The Amanda Show, 1999, in which she starred in all of the skits except Totally Kyle. In 2001, she co-starred with Frankie Muniz in Big Fat Liar, 2002, as Kaylee, Jason's friend who helps him prove that he really did write the essay Big Fat Liar and regain his father's trust. It was also in 2001 that she began dating Taryn Killam from The Amanda Show, 1999, and Big Fat Liar, 2002, who is four years and two days older than she is. She also won a Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Award and, at age 15, The Amanda Show, 1999, ended its run. In 2002, she began co-starring with Jenny Garth in What I Like About You, 2002, as Holly, a 16-year-old girl who moves in with her sister after their father decides to move to Japan. She also celebrated her sweet 16th birthday and got her driver's license on April 3, 2002. Amanda Laura Bynes was born on April 3, 1986, in Thousand Oaks, California, the youngest of three children of Lynn, Morgan, a dental assistant, and Richard Bynes, a dentist. Her father is of Lithuanian, Irish, and Polish descent, and her mother is from an Ashkenazi Jewish family, from Toronto. Amanda became interested in acting and performing from the age of three, when she would say her older sister Jillian's lines with her while she performed in plays. It was from then on that her family and friends knew that she would be a star someday. Her acting debut was in 1996, when she auditioned for and got the role as a newcomer on All That, 1994. Right away, she became very popular as people enjoyed her acting in skits, especially Ask Ashley, where she played a little girl running an advice column who would get very angry every time she read a letter. 
In 1999, 13-year-old Amanda was given her own variety show, The Amanda Show, 1999, in which she starred in all of the skits except Totally Kyle. In 2001, she co-starred with Frankie Muniz in Big Fat Liar, 2002, as Kaylee, Jason's friend who helps him prove that he really did write the essay Big Fat Liar and regain his father's trust. It was also in 2001 that she began dating Turan Killam from The Amanda Show, 1999, and Big Fat Liar, 2002, who is four years and two days older than she is. She also won a Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Award and, at age 15, The Amanda Show, 1999, ended its run. In 2002, she began co-starring with Jenny Garth in What I Like About You, 2002, as Holly, a 16-year-old girl who moves in with her sister after their father decides to move to Japan. She also celebrated her sweet 16th birthday and got her driver's license on April 3, 2002. In 2003, Amanda won two KCA awards and starred as Daphne, a girl searching for her father, in What a Girl Wants, 2003, with Colin Firth and Kelly Preston as her parents. She continued acting in What I Like About You, 2002, and broke up with Taran, a prodigiously talented comedian, on April 3, 2004. Amanda celebrated her 18th birthday on the 17th Annual KCA Awards, where she won an award for Best Actress for her role in What a Girl Wants, 2003. She graduated from Thousand Oaks High School's Independent Study Program on June 10, 2004, and filmed Love Act, 2005, in 2004. Trained by Arsenio Hall and Richard Pryor at a comedy camp she attended. After clipping the back of a L.A. County Sheriff's car in West Hollywood on April 6, 2012, was arrested for driving under the influence, DUI. Was later released on $5,000 bail. Favorite comedic actress is Lucille Ball. Numerous times, has been compared to Lucille, due to her expertise slapstick routines displayed in her shows and movies. Once in the show All That, 1994, she did a sketch that parroted Lucille Ball's famous show I Love Lucy, 1951, playing Lucy. Was considered for the role of Jess in New Girl, 2011. The part went to Zoe Deschanel. Has been charged with two counts of hit and run on September 4, 2012 in Los Angeles. Plays the piano and the violin. Enjoys fashion design and drawing, presented David Letterman with a portrait she had painted of him. Is good friends with Frankie Muniz, Kellen Rood, and Hairspray, 2007, co-star Zac Efron. Her inspirations came from Bette Midler and Lucille Ball. She donated many items to Rocky Stone to be given to less fortunate kids as part of the Toy Mountain campaign. Was considered for the role of Elizabeth Swan in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003. Was bridesmaid on her older sister, Jillian Bynes' wedding on July 26. 2008. The sisters are estranged now because of Amanda's lifestyle. Quotes. The first time I got the script, it said The Amanda Show, 1999, on it. I thought they were kidding. I'm still little Amanda, and to be getting my own show, it's like, oh, my gosh. At age 13. It was my first season of All That, 1994. Keenan Thompson and I were playing ping-pong in this scene, and we were supposed to collide heads. As we were falling down, I hit myself in the lip with the paddle. I looked down and saw a puddle of blood, and I had to be rushed to the studio hospital with a swollen lip. My friend was like, don't worry, Amanda, it doesn't look too bad you know, thousands of women pay, for collagen injections, to have their lips that big. I'm the type of person who believes that everything happens for a reason, and at the time that it's supposed to. So now, dot other ideas are coming up for other movies, and everything is just happening really wonderfully. People don't recognize I'm getting older. They see reruns of all that, 1994, so they assume I'm 10 years old. I'm 16. I'm almost 5 feet 8 inches. I'm driving now. I'm a positive person. People should find happiness in the little things, like family. I think my parents are a big part of that because I'm still a normal kid. Like there are times I get frustrated because I want to wear certain shoes and they don't want me to wear them. 
It's all good in the end, because I realize that there will be a time and place for high shoes. I want to be looked at as an adult actress, that's why I didn't want to do a big movie when I was 11. I was waiting till I was a little bit older. Whatever is meant to be will be, and you just have to trust that things happen for a reason. It's made handling disappointments that much easier because I just remember my mom's words and know that something better is meant to come my way. I'm a good person, and I don't want to undermine anyone. I don't want to make anyone look stupid. I don't talk badly about people. I just try to be a nice girl and that's the best way to stay out of it. Some people have such big egos that they have to knock people down to get ahead. And I'm just who I am, and I'm a person who's very lucky. But my life is my family and not my job. If it ever got too crazy I'd be like, okay, I'm checking out now. I want to be known for the work I've done, as opposed to where I go on Saturday nights, I like to let loose just like anyone else, but I don't want to be photographed doing it. I love movies that have a good story. I love movies that make you feel good about yourself, but I also love movies that make you walk away thinking about them. I like things that have, you know, something to them. Every person is so different and I don't think there is an exact match for every person. If you meet someone and they have 20 of the 25 things you want in a person, then you're pretty lucky. Going to another country you're not in your house, you're with people you've never met before and I think it's definitely a good growing experience. I don't like being compared to anyone or being in a class with someone. I'm a teen actress and therefore I'm competing against Hilary Duff. We're different people like everyone else. I get a script and it's really interesting with scripts because you never really know. It's paper and it could be great or awful. Even scripts that are good could end up not working. I like the dress-up part. In real life, I'm into sweats and never like that, but I do like to get dressed up like most girls. People have a preconceived notion about who I am and it's interesting. It's like picking who you want to win for the Oscars and not seeing the movie.